So finally, here comes our most targeted project of making our own voice assistant based on ChatGPT. Let me show you a quick demo of the project. Please ask. Who is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam? Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was an Indian scientist and statesman who served as the 11th president of India from 2002 to 2007. So that was our ESP32 ChatGPT voice assistant and in this video, I'll be guiding you how I make it and how you can make it too. But before that, you need to watch out the other episodes of the series. Yes, so in this ESP32 ChatGPT series, we already uploaded three episodes whose link you can find in the description of this video and you need to watch out all three episodes. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand this video and you won't be able to make this project as well. So do watch it out and if you already watched it, well, let's get started with making our own voice assistant based on ChatGPT. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LDM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LDM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So in the last video we were successfully able to convert our speech to text using Google Cloud services and in this video we'll be continuing from that point only. So with the last code, we were getting the responses in JSON format and along with our required answer, we were also getting some other responses. So we first wrote a code to filter out the specific text converted from speech. After writing the filtering code and uploading them, now we are getting only the text of our speech. Great. So now I just need to provide this text question to ChatGPT via its API and for that, I have copied this code from the first episode of the series and integrated that code in this. After modifying it a bit, now we can ask questions directly through mic and we can get the answers from ChatGPT straight on the serial monitor. But we want to listen the answers from the speaker instead of serial monitor. Well, I know we already covered this part in the second episode of this series, but here is one catch. So in both the code like this one which converts speech to text and this one which converts text to speech uses a library with the same name called as audio.h but has totally different internal coding. So when we tried to merge both the codes, we've got a lot of compiling errors. So now to solve this, we came up with a solution of using two separate ESP board, one for speech to text and other for text to speech. Now, let me show you the proper explanation about how this both ESP will communicate with each other for our project on a whiteboard. Okay, so here are both the ESPs, one for speech to text and other for text to speech. So in speech to text, we have a microphone and an ESP32 as a hardware, okay? And in text to speech, we have ESP32 and a speaker as a hardware. Now I'll show you what kind of uh, like tasks are performed by this section and what kind of tasks are performed by this section. So here, first of all, it will take the input uh, from microphone, that's input from mic. Okay. After process, uh, after taking the input, it will you know give to speech to text service by Google Cloud. So it will be requesting that API. Then we'll be getting the response, and that response will be given to Chat GPT API. Chat GPT API. And after uh, requesting uh, the question to Chat GPT API, we'll be getting the answer from Chat GPT, and we'll be sending that uh, response to you. Art, okay, so both the ESPs are communicating via UART communication. So in the end, we'll be sending the response, sending the answer coming from the chat GPT via UART to other ESP32. Now, for those who don't know UART, it's basically the serial communication, the RXTX communication. Okay, so these four tasks are performed by this ESP. And once we get the response, the task of this ESP comes into the picture. Okay, so first of all, it will take the uh, input from UART. So whatever response it is sending, it will be taken by this. 
after that it will be sending to text to speech conversion okay so we have a built-in function for that so it will be going to text to speech conversion after that uh, the the response will be given to the speaker as an output okay so these three tasks will be performed by this esp32 and that's how we will be able to make our own voice assistant based on chat gpt with the help of two microcontrollers so here is the final code which we wrote based upon the explanation now let's upload the code in respective esp boards after uploading the code, we made the connections of all the components according to this connection diagram. Now here, we have also used an IR sensor that will be acting as a wake up button, an RGB LED that will show the status of our project, and we also connected a TP4056 battery charging module and a battery to make it work remotely as well. Then we shouldered all the components on a general purpose PCB and tried to fit it inside a plastic casing. We also did two holes on the top for the mic and IR sensor. And after complete assembly, the final project looks like this. Now let's start using it. Okay, so to test it out, first we'll turn on the switch. Starting. Perfect. It says starting and now uh, we are good to go to ask the question. So first I'll wave my hand over the proximity sensor. Please ask. How are you? So when the green light turns on, it means uh, it is ready to, uh, it is it is recording. Okay. When the blue light turns on, it means it's sending the data for speech to text. And when the red light is on, it is sending the data to chat GPT API. I'm doing well. Thank you. Perfect. So let us ask another question. Please ask. Who is Elon Musk? Blue means uh, speech to text. Red means uh, to chat GPT API. And now let's just wait for the response. Elon Musk is an entrepreneur and innovator best known for founding SpaceX, Tesla, and PayPal. He is also the CEO of both Tesla. Perfect. So we have provided a very less token around like 30, 40 tokens. So we got the short answer, but I also tried asking question in Hindi and it responds in Hindi as well. Let's try to ask one more question. Please ask. Aap kaise ho? Aap. Perfect. So it can respond in Hindi language as well. And it is perfectly working fine. So well, that was our own made voice assistant based on chat GPT. Do click the like button right now if you love this video and got to learn something new from this complete series. And yes, this was kind of a final episode of this series. But do let me know your suggestion about how we can do more improvements in our own made voice assistant. Do you have any suggestions like adding something in it? Well, do drop your suggestion down in the comments of the video and we may get a new episode in this series. We never know. So yeah, do subscribe our channel to see more such amazing projects coming up on our channel. And that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.